Muse for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, Musers? John with Muse for you here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in today's video tutorial, I'm going to go over the fashion designer portfolio template found at museforyoushop.com. Uh, so I'll quickly go over the template um, and then I'll go to the template page and I'll showcase the template in Adobe Muse. Um, it's really easy to get started with it. You can easily re replace images, replace content, and just customize it for your own website. Uh, so here we have the template. It's a really great template to showcase uh, fashion or any other product um, or any other topic. Um, it's just really laid out quite nice and, and the information is easy to digest and there's nice images and everything like that. So here we have the home page. Um, we can see it says Fashion Reinvented, our latest collections. Um, you can click check here and it'll bring you to another page, uh, but I'll quickly go through the home page first. Uh, we have some nice content here. Uh, here we're using the smooth text reveal hoverbox widget. Uh, so if I were to click on any of these images, it would take me to another page uh, that showcases um, more images and more fashion. And here we have a nice footer. Um, we have evening collections, wedding collections, casual, casual collection, collections, designer picks, uh, information, schedule an appointment, frequently asked questions about Kaylin Taylor and the Altelier. Right here we have social media uh, buttons here at the bottom and at the top as well. So this template consists of five pages. Uh, there's home, latest collections, about, and contact. And if we click on check, um, it brings us to the, to the collections page. Um, so here we're using the full screen split slider widget. So I can go through and check out the different images, just like that, or the different collections. And if I click on a collection, it'll bring me to another page. And here we're using the swiper.js slideshow widget uh, for Adobe Muse. All right, so the user can easily navigate through, through the images. Um, again, it's really great for fashion, but if you have any other topic or um, yeah, if your website is about something else, you can replace these images with, um, with your own images. Okay, and I can click here on the left to go back to the collection and just browse through. Um, it all goes to the same collection uh, just for the template, but you can duplicate the page in Adobe Muse and link the different collections to different slideshows um, and to different collection pages like this one. All right, so I'll go back to shop. Um, then we have the about page. It just tells you a, a bit more about the site. Um, we have some nice content here. We have another image, um, more some more content, uh, frequently asked questions. So you can have a yeah frequently asked questions section and looks good. Okay, so I'll scroll back up here. Uh, we have the contact section. We have some nice images here, some nice content. Um, here you can set up uh, appointments or you know have user email or call for an appointment. We have marketing and careers and the footer again. And you can link this out to an email so when the user clicks, it opens their inbox and they can send you an email. All right, looks good. So that is the, uh, the fashion designer portfolio template. The mark and the logo for this template is Kaylin Taylor, uh, Collections for Life. Uh, but yeah, all of this is customizable, so you can really uh, set it up for your own website. All right, so I'll go back to the shop, to the, uh, the template page, and I'll read the features included, and then I'll go over the template in Adobe Muse. So to gain access to this template, you can go to museforyoushop.com, and here you, you can click subscribe today, and here you can click subscribe now to get access to all widgets and templates I come out with for 39 a year. All right, and then we have the fashion designer portfolio template, which is right here. And here's the template. So here we have a few images of the template, the features included, and the widgets used within the template. So I'll go ahead and read over the different features of the template. Um, it is fluid with design. Uh, it's responsive for desktop, tablet, and mobile. There's a maximum of five breakpoints per page. The pages are organized within the layers panel. Uh, there are four main pages, uh, work, latest collections, about, and contact. There's one slideshow page. There's three different master pages. Uh, it's fully customizable. The assets are included and it's for Adobe Muse 2018 and later. 
Uh, the widgets used in the template are to be smooth text reveal hover box widget, the swiper.js slideshow for Adobe Muse widget, the full screen split slider widget, and the responsive browser height widget. So that is the template. There's a few images here. If you had any questions about the widget, you could leave it in the community section here as well. And this video will be uh, right here. Um, so you can take a look from the template page as well. So one thing before I showcase in Adobe Muse, um, I'll just go to sizzy.co so we can see the responsiveness of the template across different width devices. I'm just gonna copy this URL here. I'm gonna go into Sizzy, paste that right in there and click enter. And this just helps us see um, how the website will look across different width devices. Uh, this back to shop here obviously wouldn't be here. It's just so that you can navigate back to the shop when you're previewing the template at museforyoushop.com. So for tablet and mobile, we have this nice tablet and mobile menu uh, so the user can click and uh, go through the different pages uh, just like that. So I can actually go through the pages. You see the collections page, perfect. All right, so sizzy.co is a great website. We have the iPhone 4, iPhone 5, iPhone 6, iPhone 7 Plus, the iPad Air, uh, the Nexus 6P, the Galaxy S4, the Nexus 7, um, yeah, and the Nexus 7 there. So there's the site, you can change the orientation um, by clicking, yeah, right here, and it'll change the orientation. It's this little button right up here. And you can see the, the website when the ori orientation of the, of the device is changed. All right, so that is sizzy.co. I just wanted to showcase the site um, across different width devices. All right, looks good. So let's go ahead and jump into Adobe Muse. Um, I have the website open here. So here we have the different pages. We have home, collections, about, contact, the sample collection slideshow, and we have a few different master pages. So we have the master, uh, we have the collections master, and the collections slideshow master. And it tells you which master page is assigned to the different pages um, right below the page name. So here it has the master page, this one's the collections master, this is the master, master, and this one is the collections slideshow master. All right, looks good. So I'll go ahead and open uh, the first page. Uh, we can see here it's five different breakpoints. Um, so yeah, there's a maximum of five breakpoints for the page. And you can go through and take a look at the site on those different breakpoints. Um, here you can double click to replace all the content. Um, yeah, everything is customizable. And to swap out images, it's actually really easy. Um, you can just go to the Assets panel here to the right. And if you don't see the Assets pa panel, you can go to Window and click on Assets. So here I'll click the Assets panel here to the right. And here are all the assets for the website. So if I were to click on this image here, the in the header or this main image, we can see here that it highlights the image. So this image is three image hero. And what I can do to swap out the image is I can right click and click on relink. So if I click here, it opens up um, a folder on my computer and I can just navigate to the image, to the images that I want to, to use for the site. Um, so here I just have a few images. I actually gave them a duotone with photomosh.com. So I'll just select an image here and we can see just like that, that image is replaced. I can go to file preview page and browser. And we now have that new image for the site. Just like that, looks good. Okay, so I can scroll down. We can swap out these images as well. Um, for these images, because they're in the smooth text reveal hover box widget, you'll actually have to open the widget by clicking on this blue circle with the arrow. And then you can also change all the widget options like the effect, uh, the text, uh, the text, yeah, the different text within the smooth text reveal hover box. And you can change the size of the text at a specific breakpoint. Um, yeah, so all this is customizable. Um, I do have video tutorials on working with the hover boxes and I'll leave a link in the show more section below uh, to that as well. But if you did just wanna swap out the images, you could just look here, it says um, for image casual. So I can go to the assets panel and look for that image, uh, which is right here. It says for image casual. I can right click, relink, and I'll just navigate uh, or just select another image um, here. So I'll select this image and there we have that one. And I'll do it for the rest of these hover boxes. So this one is five image evening. So I'll go to the assets panel and here is uh, five image evening. I'll right click, relink, and I'll select another image. 
and this one is number six. So here we have number six, image designer, right click, relink, and I'll select another image there. And then we have this last image here, which is seven image wedding. So here we have it, I'll right click, relink, and I'll select another image uh, here. So I'll select this one. All right, so there we have the images. Um, I can change the, the image uh, fitting and the position. Um, I won't mess too much with that now. I just wanna showcase replacing the images, um, but I'll go to file, preview page and browser, and we can take a look at the site. All right, so there is the site. We've swapped out all the images. Looks good, and we still have that nice hover box. Perfect. All right, looks good. So I'll go to a, diff a few other pages. So I'll go to the plan view. Um, let's go to the sample collection slideshow. Um, so here we have the collections page and the sample collection slideshow. So if you wanted multiple um, collections, all you'd have to do here is right click and select duplicate page. All right, so I'll duplicate and here we'll say sample collection uh, two or sample collection uh, shirts. All right, so there we have two sample collection pages. And if I wanted to link the collections page to this new uh, sample, to this new page, or to this new collection, I'll just double click in collections. And here we have the full screen split slider. And here I'll open the full screen split slider. And let's say for image two, I want it to go to that new collection. Um, here in the title link, I'll just replace this with um, dot backslash sample collection uh, shirts, because that's the page, uh, that's the name of the new page we created. All right, so let's go to that new page just to make sure that it's the new collection. I'm gonna double click on sample collection shirt uh, shirts uh, page, and I'm gonna swap out a few images. Um, so here, uh, yeah, here for the full screen, here we have the swiper.js slideshow, and I'm gonna replace a few images. So I'm gonna click on images, and just swap out these images here. So I'm gonna to go to that duotone and just swap out all of these images. And I do have a tutorial on the swiper.js slideshow and I'll leave a link to that in the show more section below as well. All right, so I'll just add a few images. There's quite a few images in here and this last one here. All right, so now we have a new slideshow page for the second collection. So here I'll go to File, Preview Site in Browser. So all the pages render. So I'll click there. And here I'll click on Check to go to the Collections page. So if I click on the first uh, image, or the first collection, it takes us to this slideshow, which is the first slideshow. Then I'll go back to Collections. I'll go to the second image. And we link the second image to that new page we created. So I'll click on the second image. And here we can see we have the uh, new images for the slideshow. All right, so just like that, um, it's real easy to swap out images. You can go into the widget, add new images, and yeah, and or right click and relink in the assets panel. Um, all the content here is customizable. So I can go to the about page, and yeah, just click, double click into the text, and you know, just say muse, muse for you, and just write here. Let me. Um, Scroll to the right, and I'll just write awesome. Hashtag awesome. And I'd probably align this, something like that. Yeah, and you can work with all the alignment and the size of the text box and everything. So uh, it's just that simple, just double clicking and changing the content within the template. Okay, so there we have the new content. Um, again, I can click on the image and, and go to the assets panel, right click, relink, and just select another image, um, just like that. I can reposition the image by going to fill and changing the position of the image and things like that. All right, so again, it's right click, relink, and you can select any image. Perfect. All right, looks good. Okay, so I'll go ahead and preview. And there we have the new image. Um, you can also link out the social media icons to your own social media. So if I go to the master page, uh, so this first master page here, 
I'll double click. So here, if I click into the social media icons, I'll click on the Instagram icon. So once it's selected, I can go to the hyperlink section here in Adobe Muse, click the drop down, and I'll link it to the Muse for You Instagram. So I'll type in HTTP Instagram.com slash Muse for You Shop. Click enter, and just like that, that icon is linked to the Muse for You Shop Instagram. So I'll go to uh, file preview page and browser. And I'll click on the Instagram icon. And just like that, it takes me to the Instagram page. Um, so you can do that for all the social media. Just click on it. Um, it is on the master page. So you, you'll just, um, yeah, just have to click on it and link it via the hyperlink section in Adobe Muse. And you can do the same with these icons here at the bottom as well. All right, so that's basically it for the fashion designer portfolio template. Um, I'm really excited to be showcasing it. Um, I think it's a great way to start using Adobe Muse if you've never used Adobe Muse or if you don't want to spend the time developing your own site or if this template has a lot of the features that you already want. You can use a lot of the features in the template and then just customize different things within the template. Um, so that, that's it for this video tutorial on the fashion designer portfolio template. Uh, to gain access to the template, you can go to museforyoushop.com and here you can click subscribe today. And here you can click subscribe now to get access to all widgets and templates I come out with for $39 a year. Uh, the fashion designer portfolio template is right down here. Here you can click add to cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and templates I come out with for $39 a year. Here's the preview page. So you can click there to go to the preview page. Uh, you can click, click back to shop. Um, and here we have a few images of the template, um, the widgets included and the features included. Here's the community section if you had any questions about the template. And this video will be right here as well. Um, so you can go through and see how to use the template. All right, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. News for you, awesome websites without code.